So, welcome. This is a slightly different build. This is the uh, Angel Wings Designs Micro Runt. Now, this is a beta build. Um, Andy from Angel Wing Designs asked me to have a go at building the aircraft. Um, I got no um, instructions. Um, I've got a very basic uh, wing dimensions, but as with all the Angel Wing stuff, the laser cutting is so good, uh, the wing virtually jigged itself anyway. Um, I had a little bit of help from Andy, gave me a little bit of guidance on doing the fuselage but um, really it was a no-brainer, it went together absolutely lovely. Um, I've chosen to do the um, two servo wing and in the uh, wing I have two of these which are the Emacs ES9251s and they dropped into the wing absolutely beautifully and in fact if I hold it there you can actually see those in shop. Um, so I'm just going to go through the build in this video. Um, one other thing I will going to touch on when we get to the end of the build is I'm going to touch on using different um, batteries because uh, not like the other micro gliders, virtually the uh, fuselage is cavernous for what we want to put in and I ended up putting some quite heavy standard um, receiver batteries in there and it's worked really well. So let's crack on. Okay, so this is the uh, parts for the Angel Wing Designs Micro Runt. This is a beta test. So I'm very luckily going to be the first person to build one out of the factory. Um, some very interesting exciting things I'd like to share with you. Um, I think this is a great idea. All the accessories, so magnets for the canopy, the wing dowel, elastic bands, push rods, all been inserted into that sheet of balsa. Uh, the other really cool thing which I'm looking forward to getting to is the um, ailerons. Oh, it's the whole of the trailing edge here, but the ailerons have been semi-cut already. Uh, so the idea is, is that we're going to cut them to shape, and then when it's all glued in place, we can just nip out the aileron part. Fantastic idea. So, um, I'm going to have a look at the plans, and then um, come up with some steps. Okay, so I've got all the bits out for the wing. Um, interesting to note for the sheeting underneath, if you're going to be using the uh, two servo option, you use this. If you're going for the single option of a single s servo for the wing, you use the one that's got L written on it. So I'm going for a two servo wing. So the first thing to do is to fit the bottom sheet and make sure that that is square fitting over the plan and as again before with all the uh, these jig typed if you just make sure that that is square butted up against the line there everything else will fit into place So the first thing is to fit the bottom sheet. Bottom sheet stuck. Now this is the superb new trailing edge that has the ailerons all cut into it. At the moment it's square. I'm now going to use my uh, planer and I'm going to plane the trailing edge and get it down to about one mil nice and consistently supporting this on the end of the bench. Okay, so I've now uh, cut the shape as you can see. Only on the trailing edge, do not cut any just at this edge here as otherwise you're going to find that the ribs will stand proud. 
So I'm now going to assemble the trailing edge in position and get the other spars into position ready to fit the ribs. I've added the main spar, put locating pins either side. I have glued the uh, spar, making sure it's sitting down on the bottom sheet. I've added my trailing edge and located. Uh, and now I'm going to slowly add. So the ribs one, two, and three. And then I'm going to get my template for the end rib to make sure it's at the right angle. Like so. so. I've then slowly, so I've added ribs one, two, and three, four, and five. And I'm just going to slowly work my way across now. I've added all the ribs, they're all nice and square. Make sure that all the ribs are square. And now the leading edge. This is R for root. I'm going to glow, put some glue on every one of these little sections and then I'm going to fit that up to there like so and then push some pins in place to hold it in place. So I've cut out the six blanks for the tips and they are going to be glued like so. Just make sure that you get them all nice and square and again best tip use a wood glue don't use super glue or if you do use super glue um, just super glue in the center because it will make it harder to actually sand them so I find the wood glue is far better okay so I glued the uh, three tip blanks together like so and then they've been uh, clamped and glued to the end of the wing tips before I join the wings I'm going to sand these to shape because it's just going to make it a lot easier to work with these when the wings are uh, not glued. Okay so the next step is we need to add this uh, strengthening spar, connecting spar and the way I've done that is I've used my Dremel and uh, I've just literally cut, very carefully cut a slot down to the bottom sheeting. I'm only doing working on ribs one and two because it butts up against rub th uh, rib three and that's going to sit in there like so. I'm going to do exactly the same side the other side but I'm happy with the angles. I'm going to join the wings. I'm sorry, I'm going to infill this part with the sheeting when I'm happy then I'm then going to add the second sheeting when the wing is joined. So I've added the spar to one side then done the sheeting left it to dry I cut the slots in ribs one and two not three because it butts up little tip here if you find that your wing is not quite butting together you might just have to take a small smidge just off the end of the spar worth checking um, so that's now going to drop into there like so and then I'm going to glue those together Okay, so I have now joined the wings and the final thing to do is just to get my second bit of sheet and then I'm going to add the sheet to here and that's basically the wings done. All we're going to have to do is, just before we come to covering, is cutting the ailerons out which I'll talk you through and then we'll uh, go on to covering the wings.